Hi there. So, you want to make a video? You want to become a YouTube sensation like your uncle Vegetable Police? Well, I thought it might be fun to show you what it takes to edit a green screen phenomenon. So let's do this. <laughs> So obviously I film myself first. That's the first tip. You film yourself, you make a video, you get all your lighting right, and this is the final product. And then I bring it into Adobe Premiere, and I just, I make my rough cuts. I cut out any mistakes, and this is just the bare bones cut. This is gonna be a 19 minute video. Oh my God. So first thing I do, I have a bunch of presets here. I've done this a million times. So I got my green screen key, I drop that on there. And just to make sure it's perfect, I do this over again and just pick roughly what I think is the average green color, right around down here. So that'll be done. Then I shrink myself down. Nobody wants to see a giant vegetable police, that's scary put myself around here then I got my Lumetri color this will just add for whatever reason Panasonic cameras do not have accurate skin tone representation so I don't look like I do without this I just it's very much pale more like I don't know yellow or green looking so I try to correct that and I just like make the temperature a bit warmer so this is more accurate I think Canon is still the best for skin tones. Sony and Panasonic, they're not yet there yet. Shut up. Now I bring this just to test it, just to test it, because so many times I have made a mistake and there's like a little bit of shadow here and I don't notice it until I copied every single clip here, all of those, and then I have to go redo each one and like raise the shadow and then like 50 clips here. Imagine how fun that is. So once I've made sure that this is a clean cut, everything's good, he's ready to be copied and I just copy and paste and I do that for every clip. See, I've already done that. So now we'll delete that and then I play the first clip. What is this all about? So you're bold. The contract's been finalized. The creature you see before you in the mirror serves as just a distant reminder of what could have been. So for this, I think I would like to get a shot of a man standing in a mirror and I'm gonna put my head on his body in the mirror. Let's find a picture. So we go to our good old friend Google Thompson and we look up man looking in mirror. Go to the images. And now I just look, it's gotta be perfect. I hate these Shutterstock, you son of a Shutterstock bitch. Very annoying trying to search images and all these watermarks. How's this guy looking? Oh, so you right click, save image as. This was my last video on the nature of reality. You better watch it right now. Desktop, so I just look for this folder, green screen. I, I label all my videos, I put them in folders like viral reality, viral hair video, viral green screen. I'm just bombarding my mind with like, this video is going viral, it's gonna perform well. It's just brainwashing that I do to myself and I love it, I need it. So this is what I do. Sometimes I have to resize an image It'll be like one of these sons of bitches and then I'll just make sure it stretches to the edge. Now for this, I want to put my head on this guy's head, face, body, shut up. So how I do that, I select my clip first. Let's make this the whole clip. Oh my God, stretch that out. Now you go to opacity, click on this pen tool. I just do a rough cut, cut out my head, something like that. Now I got no head, and I bring myself on over to this guy. Oh, he's so dashing. Usually I make my head a little bigger than normal. I know it looks a little weird, but 
It's just, it works out better that way. Sometimes I'll have to rotate it a little bit. So that is a rough cut. Now I'll blow it up to like 200% here. <laughs> this is so unflattering. So I'll go back to my mask here. And then usually I like to follow the collar of his shirt. Oh, these bendy things always piss me off. Stop bending. Oh my God. See, they're very annoying. I wish you could turn those off. If you know how, tell me. So yeah, we got Bendy Robinson over here. So just do like a rough cut. I can't go all the way down, although that might work. It just, it does look a little stupid and take the feathering off. Cause my shirt shows up underneath. That's never good. But we'll go for it. We'll go for it. So it may look a little strange, but you see what I have to deal with. I move. I never think if I would have thought from the beginning that I was going to move and like have my head on somebody, I would remain perfectly still. But I never do this. I always just improv. Once I get here, I just start doing it. So it's it's very it's annoying, bold. but basically you just you move yourself back and then this mask you can move over again. So it's not going to be a perfect cut and you can see the guy's head. He's still behind me. That son of a bitch. So let's get him out of there. To do that, I got to Photoshop it. So I'll open this in Photoshop. Hey, handsome man. And I'll just use the clone, the clone device. Oh, I've already messed that up. Undo. That's my best friend. So that's good enough. Just save that. And then you go back into your program and he will disappear. I'm gonna have to go through this so I move a lot. That's a problem. Like that looks okay. The creature you see before you in the mirror serves as just a distant reminder of what could have been. See, I don't like how far right I am here. So I'll go back there and make a keyframe. Do a little stuff there and then as I start moving I'll just I'll bring myself back and then I'll move the mask it's painstaking it really is it's a lot of work that you can see why I don't do a ton of these videos if I try to do five of these a week I would die serves as just a distant reminder so I'll continue to do that for this first scene Okay, Jesus Mother Murphy Williams. That's should be done. So you see before you in the mirror. It's not perfect. Serves as just a distant reminder. Now, obviously, I don't look the same color as this son of a bitch. So I will often color correct it. Just oh god. It looks more yellow to me. His his picture is more yellow. So sometimes I'll go to these color wheels, add in some more yellow, make myself the Simpson. Just fits more in, even though I look jaundice now. That's fine. That's fine. So you're bold. The contract's been finalized. So I'll show you one more clip. I just want to pick a small one here. What's this? Oh, male pattern baldness. Flat Earth God's cruel sense of humor is not relevant in your life at this time. Okay, so for that, obviously, I want a picture of the Flat Earth. So I'll Google Flat Earth, maybe a painting. I've never used this one before. So for ones like these, you can tell it's more square. It's not going to fill up the whole screen. I'll use two pictures side by side. Maybe this one. I like that one. That's colorful. So colorful. So now I'll just drag them in here, and usually I'll have one off to the side. To blend.
blend them in a little better. I have some presets, just the crop tool. And I forget which one that was. Yeah, so I'll shorten this up a little bit. Don't necessarily need that head. It doesn't do anything for me. So something like that. And this guy will move him over a little bit. And so that will be the basic picture. Maybe I'll move myself to cover up the seam a bit. So male pattern baldness. Flat Earth God's cruel sense of humor is not relevant in your life at this time. <laughs> so that's it. That's how I do the videos. I'll go through all these now. And I got a ton of Google images to find, as you can imagine. So they take a long time, but I just, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy making this colorful and unique, and I put a lot of effort into it because I just, I feel that you will enjoy it more watching it. I just, I know it's more work, and I know a lot of people probably don't even care. They're just like, ah, whatever, two images. Yeah, just give me the one, I don't give a shit. Could I have just used this image and centered it and just been that? Yeah, I could do that, but I like to be creative and you gotta have some fun in life. So this was just like the basics. I haven't done any animations or any effects. I mean, for this scene, I could even have Flat Earth God himself peeking in. For that, I would search like God transparent background. So it could be something like that. If I see one of these that might be funny, I would use this, but he's sitting on a tiger and that is exploiting animals and I will not do it. Maybe this is Flat Earth God. All right, we're going with this guy. I don't know why the other guys weren't working. It took me three times to realize that it's just because this top layer was muted. Oh my God. My God, I'm that dumb. I'm that dumb. So, yeah, this guy, I don't know, he's not really showing up very well. It's too busy. So, screw him. And I guess this is Flat Earth God. Say hi to Flat Earth God. Maybe I'll put him down on the Flat Earth here. I don't know, God would probably be bigger than a tree, I imagine. I'll go with how I say it. When I say Flat Earth God. So male pattern baldness. Flat Earth God. Right about here, I'll have him come in. So I'll just put like keyframe there and then go back to the beginning, take him out. And I'll ease him in so it's a little smoother. And then that will be it. Flat Earth God's cruel sense of humor. Now to take it up a notch. Add some lightning for old God over here. So I have a lightning preset for my wizard. You just gotta get the starting point from his hand and then I'll have him zap me in the eye. So we'll just... Flat Earth God's cruel sense of humor is not relevant in your life at this time. It's little things like that. I just, I have fun with this. I know nobody's gonna care. They're just gonna be like, yeah, whatever, buddy. Just, just tell me what to eat. So this video is done now. Took me like two days to edit this. It was, it's a long one. I don't usually do 20 minute green screen videos, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like finalized. I mean, you can see all the red, pink things are pictures. Look at all those pictures. All this is music. And for me, when I edit, everything is about timing. I don't just put a picture up sometime. I put it up exactly when I say that word. If I'm about to say kitchen, this picture of a kitchen goes up right when I start that word. That's how I work. And when I take the music off for a split second, usually that's just to emphasize the humor. Let's just see. Here's an example of when I just cut the music out to emphasize humor in my life. The real question everybody's asking themselves is, do bald people deserve the same rights as regular non-baldies? That's the thing, like, should they have separate grocery stores for bald people food? And should their money be worth the same? I, <laughs> okay. I had a tough time 
saying this with a straight face. I'm always looking to improve. I'm always looking for situations to use my creativity. That's what I love doing. That's why I do this, just to express myself. So when this happened, listen to this line. When the moon is shrinking, your penis gets smaller. That's just a fact. Now, I could have ended this because, I mean, the line was over. We were done here. But as I looked down, I noticed I looked down and I just thought like I'm looking at my own shameful tiny penis because of the shrinking moon. So this, this is what I ended up doing with this line. When the moon is shrinking, your penis gets smaller. That's just a fact. So sad. <laughs> so, you can... so I got I got smaller and smaller as she grew. <laughs> I I just I love doing this. This is what I do for a living and I can't even believe it. I have to pinch myself sometimes because I'm just like, oh my god, I get to just create the silly things in my mind and I get to somehow put that into a visual element and you guys can witness it and I just I love this so much so I'm so grateful for you guys for watching the videos so much amazing things are ahead you have no idea you have no idea the strangeness in my mind so I just wanted to add this little last piece into the video and I will somehow edit it and I will switch back to the other video now. So this is how I make videos. I hope you enjoyed this today my friend. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you hate videos of all kinds no matter who made it. And that's it. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. And be sure to watch this one coming out soon.